Welcome to Immersur, Cirque du Soleil VR 180 series. To fully experience this video, go get your VR headset. Hello, I'm Daniela Bim, I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Oi, Brazil, tudo bem? Here in Volta, I perform my hair suspension act. And if you want to see how it all comes to life, follow me. I used to dance since I was 13 years old, a little bit uh, late for the standards. And later on, with 18, I decided to do some acrobatics and circus just to diversify my work as a dancer. And I completely fell in love with circus and I stayed. I learned circus uh, basically on my own. I'm self-taught. There's a lot involved in hair hanging, besides the health of my hair or my neck. Uh, I have to train dance movements and contortion a little bit, and also uh, weight training. I had to have uh, my body strong and also flexible. Besides hair hanging, I love to do aerial hoop because it's also a spinning and aerial discipline and I, it complements my work. Actually, it's my main discipline, so I like to also train that and handstands just for the fun and for understanding my body and to learn something new. It's not what I present on stage, but it definitely helps me to get into the mood for training and for performing. Well, I'm about to start my makeup. It takes uh, about 45 minutes to an hour every day, but it's a great moment for me to concentrate and get ready for the show. How did I get into hair hanging? Uh, as a very funny story. Um, I wanted also to diversify my work as an aerialist and to combine uh, some music and uh, hair and um, my performance. So I start training hair so I could also play my trombone all together at the same time. And meanwhile, I was training for this act. Volta called me to perform here. So that's how it all happens. It, was, uh, it wasn't on purpose, it was not an accident, but it was beautiful. It wasn't expected at all. Now my makeup's done, let's go to the stage. discipline not, not only because it involves your hair but also because it involves your spine your neck so to get to the point where I could only lift my feet from the floor it took me a little while and it was magical it was like I, if I could float and I could dance without my own weight and then since then I've been spinning and dancing and trying to do uh, all these movements circus is very painful. It's the pain of learning, the pain of your body adapting, but really uh, life is painful I would say and if you cannot get through you'll never get to the beauty of life or the beauty of art on stage. <laughs> 